According to the Polish Foreign Minister, the EU should look at an alternative approach for countries aspiring to join, setting a concrete date of when this can be expected as it will provide greater motivation to achieve goals. The EU delegation in Tirana started celebrations for European Week from Škodra today. This year a bike journey undertaken to show off the heritage and beauty of Albania with Ambassador Vlahutin declaring Albania has much to be proud of. As the summer season approaches and to coincide with the World Melanoma Awareness Day, dermatologists call for all to take care of their skin and avoid the dangerous form of skin cancer. Good evening, it's 6 o'clock on Monday the 7th of May 2018. Welcome to the English edition of Aura News. My name is Alexandra and I'm here to bring you the day's top stories from across the country translated into English. Poland's foreign minister has suggested that the European Union establish a concrete date for the integration of aspirant countries. At a joint press conference with his Albanian counterpart, the head of the Polish diplomacy, Jacek Czartoputwicz, said that setting a date would help countries to work more rigorously to achieve goals before their prospective date. In the EU, the discussion on the enlargement continues, but there is also scepticism, and the immigrant crisis is a huge source of this scepticism. These voices do their utmost to impede the EU's enlargement. Countries such as Bulgaria, Romania and Poland strongly support the enlargement of the EU. In our opinion, the date of accession of the Western Balkan countries should be clearly defined because it gives them the opportunity to hope to conduct the work properly, said Czaputowicz. Meanwhile, Minister Bouchati also spoke of the agreement with Greece, saying it is not the dates of the agreement which are important, but its ability to be appropriately enforced. Dates and deadlines are motivating, but not important. It is important to have a healthy process and to move on to a new agreement, which is a fair and enforceable agreement for both parties. It should be an agreement which opens a new chapter in relations between Albania and Greece, said Ditmir Bouchati. Poland, one of our country's strongest supporters in the integration into the European Union, also confirmed this at the meeting between the two ministers. European Week has started differently this year. From Škodra, nine ambassadors of European Union countries chose to start the day with a bicycle parade from the old bridge of Buna towards the tourist point of Shiroka, crossing the shores of the lake. Speaking from Shiroka, EU Ambassador Romana Vlahutin said there is nothing more beautiful than starting the celebration of European Week in Škodra, as it is one of the oldest cities in the continent. I want to thank you for having welcomed me on this beautiful day and in this beautiful place. I think that there is nothing more beautiful than starting the celebration of the European Week in Škodra, one of the oldest cities on the continent. You have inherited so much and you have so much to be proud of. What we have to do now is to promote you to the rest of Europe. We want to promote everything you offer and everything you bring to the EU, said Romana Vlahutin. Škodra is one of the pilot cities for EU investments in tourism, where the transformation of Shiroka's area will soon begin to bring a more economic and touristic potential. Mayor Voltana and I, just a few months ago, walked across every metre of this shore trying to find out what we can do to promote this area. But it's not just for the tourists, it's also for you. You should be able to enjoy all the potentials this lake has, said Romana Vlahutin. Mayor Voltana Ademi also described this day as extremely important as the city she leads remains one of the best models Albania can represent for European integration. The meeting was then followed by an artistic event from the young people of Škodra as well as a photographic exhibition from the Marubi Aichav. The level of debt owed by business to the tax administration at the close of the year 2017 came to a total of 95.5 billion lek. The General Directorate of Taxation's data shows that, despite the fact that compared to 2016, debt has decreased by 35%, or by about 51.6 billion lek, the debt level is still considered worrisome. According to the annual report of the General Directorate of Taxation, debt which accumulated more than two years ago accounts for almost half of the total debt amount owing to the value of 40 45.5 billion lek. The main portion of tax debt results from VAT, representing 36% of the debt, followed by income tax at 28%, social and health insurance at 12%, and TAP at 2%. The level of debt arising from taxes further depicts shows 
further depicts the, the difficulties that businesses face in our country and the inability to settle obligations to the tax administration. To combat this problem and reduce the outstanding balances that business owe the tax administration, a strategy has already been drafted allowing businesses to make a contracted payment arrangement, such as to pay off the amount via instalments. This aims to achieve business facilitation and will also improve the income received from taxes according to the state budget. The implementation of laws which allowed for debt write-offs also helped to reduce the amount of tax debt with the written off debt totaling 54.3 billion lek. Rising temperatures, increasing exposure to the sun without protection and the desire to be artificially burnt for cosmetic effect are all contributing to the risk of being affected by melanoma, which is one of the most dangerous forms of skin cancer. On the Global Day of Awareness Against Melanomas, dermatologists have treated 13 new cases at the Mother Teresa University Medical Centre of Tirana in just one month. Meanwhile, the head of the dermatology service, Ermira Vasili, says the number of patients being affected by the disease is now several times higher than has been seen before. Avoid artificial tanning. You should consult specialists, said Ermira Vasili. Moles and freckles should not be neglected, especially if any changes in the shape, size or colour are noted. Persons who notice moles or freckles should consult a dermatologist before heading to the coast. Many people believe that myth that moles and freckles are not dangerous. As a result, not enough people seek medical assistance in order to check them, said Ermira Vasili. Prolonged exposure to ultraviolet rays without the use of appropriate skin protection is the proven cause of this disease. In just one year, 400 patients present at the oncology service with new cases of skin cancer diseases requiring surgical interventions or radiation treatment. Melanomas present a fatality risk, though they can be treated if caught in their early stages. Two hundred and six two hundred and sixty four former political prisoners who served sentences forcing them to work in mines will escape the added bureaucracy of having to obtain lots of documents in order to receive their special pensions. According to the new draft law, they need only to submit documents which prove them to be a former political prisoner, without being forced to provide evidence of the duration of their sentence or the locations of the mines where they worked. The Ministry of Finance and the Social Insurance Institute made the relevant explanations to the Parliamentary Health Commission. The financial cost to the state budget is approximately 4 million lek every month, explained the Deputy Minister of Finance, Danya Sorensen. Persons should only submit the document that proves them to be a former convicted, added the Director of Inspections at the Social Insurance Institute, Astrid Kuka. Democratic MPs were not part of the discussion. The draft law was approved article by article by the SP and SMI MPs. Works for the second segment of the new boulevard have started. 1.6 kilometres will be completed at the end of this year, while the whole project, which goes up to Pascuchan, is expected to be completed by mid-2019. Initially, the second segment will be accessible only to pedestrians. When the third, se third segment also reaches completion, it will provide the connection to Siri Kodra Street, which will also be acceptable, accessible for the passage of vehicles. Grim Show is an architectural studio working with the municipality of Tirana on the project. The foreign investments director, Yelda Chazimlari, said that the area is raising the interest of foreign investors. The second segment is accessible only to pedestrians. The construction criteria have been set according to the master plan, stated Chazimlari. The construction criteria will be defined in the master plan along the entire new boulevard. The investment for 1.6 kilometres is 30 million euros. Creative areas, lanes dedicated to public transport, bicycle lanes, pedestrian zones and greenery on both sides are all foreseen by the project outline. The first gastronomy festival was held in Leisure. The organisation, which came as a novelty on the eve of the tourist season, gathered masters of the kitchen. The Leisure Cooks Gastronomy Festival was also praised by the Minister of Tourism and Environment, Blendy Clausey. He said that the project launched for funding the feast during the tourist season will include leisure as well. We can find everything in this activity. We can find all that we need for a great tourist season. Therefore, the project we launched to sponsor the feasts, which will be launched during the tourist season, will undoubtedly include leisure and Skodra. And Skodra. But of course, other areas, wherever they will be tourists, said Blendy Clausey. 
Vice Mayor of Leja, Alfreda Marku, reiterated the request for support from the Ministry for such activities. The Leja Cooks Gastronomy Festival is intended to turn into an annual tradition as a way to promote the traditional cooking of the area. And that's the news across the country today. Thank you for watching our English edition this evening and be sure to join me again every Monday to Saturday at 6pm for the latest news from Albania. Once again, on behalf of Aura News, thank you and good night.